Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all how to make a tumbler with foils. I have been obsessed with working with foils ever since I got them. I've made these two tumblers. This one is a ready to ship that's on my website and then this one I made in a live tutorial in my Patreon group and I'll be giving it away to one of them. But like they are so much fun and the possibilities are endless. I kind of keep with the same technique throughout both of these but they both look very different. I love them. They're so much fun and I'm going to show you how to work with them. I'm starting off with a 20 ounce fat tumbler from Courtney's Customs Blanks and I've gotten some requests to show how I spray paint. It is very windy outside today. Like my shed has been creaking and cracking and I can hear it blowing really hard. Um, we have a really strong winter storm coming in. So I'm not going to be able to take you outside to show how I spray paint but I will briefly go over it really quickly. If this isn't something you're interested in, fast forward like 30 seconds or so and I should be done by then. <laughs> First and foremost, I like to use flat spray paint because I feel like it does not run. It doesn't leave the big like globs like I feel glossy spray paint does. So I always use flat or matte spray paint. I put my tumbler onto my PVC pipe so I don't get paint all over my hands and I wear gloves. And I put my spray paint can, I don't know, what is that, maybe like 10 or 12 inches away and just very lightly give bursts. So like burst, 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 burst until it's all covered. I don't keep my finger held down on the spray paint can and just like keep going and keep going and keep going because that's what's going to cause your spray paint to run. So do short bursts until the entire tumbler is covered even if you have to do two or three coats. So now I'm going to go outside and fight this wind and try to get this spray painted. Okay so now that the tumbler is spray painted and dried it is time for the foils. I got all of my foils and my foil adhesive from the glitter grind. I will of course have my link for them in the description. These are the two I'm going to use. I feel like the black and white leopard print is going to look really good against the black tumbler and then this like color shift blue to green to purple is going to be like that pop. So these are the two I'm going to use and they come in like I think it's like 12 by 24 sheets. Um, could be larger but I think it's 12 by 24 and I just cut them into sections because it's a lot easier to work with than having this big piece of foil that you're trying to wrangle. So definitely suggest cutting them into sections before you start working. And this is the foil adhesive I'm using. I also got it from the Glitter Grind. Also this is a cheap little paintbrush from Dollar General. Now whenever you put this foil adhesive on you don't want to make it so much that it's dripping and pulling around. You want to do very light coats and I'm using a super light hand and kind of doing like a brush stroke method. I'm making my adhesive kind of like have that point at the tip and I'm just going to cover a little bit of the tumbler. I'm not going to do the entire tumbler. I'm only going to work with one color at a time. And the point of this one anyway is not to cover the entire tumbler. Um, I do want some of the black to show. So now I don't know if you can see, I feel, yeah you can see it a little bit. This is going to dry completely clear so I'm going to put it in front of my heater for a few seconds to let that to kind of speed up the drying process and then be right back. Okay so now it's all dry. I'm sure it's really hard for you to even see where the adhesive is at anymore but I can see it here in person. So I am just going to start with the black and white leopard print and I'm trying to see this is a long thick one so let's put it here and I'm just laying that piece of foil down where the adhesive is trying not to make it too wrinkly trying to keep it as smooth as I can and I'm going to continue with all of the pieces from this particular pattern Almost messed up there. There we go. And now, just like before, I'm going to pop this back in front of the heater for just a few seconds and then come back. All right, so just like maybe 10 seconds in front of that heat. So now the only thing you do is peel. Look how cool! Oh 
my gosh. Okay, I'm going to set these to the side. I'm not going to throw them away because there is a lot of space on that that was not used. I cut my sections probably way too wide. But I'm just going to repeat this process with the other collar of foil I have here. And I'm just going to go into the places that does not have that leopard print and add my adhesive and that is where this next pattern will go. So I think that looks really, really pretty. Now the only thing you need to do right now, you don't have to seal it, do anything like that. I am going to add one coat of epoxy and then I'll come back to show you guys the decal I'm putting on. All right, you guys, so it's the next day. There's one coat of epoxy over this. And let me tell you something before I move on. We got a major, major snowstorm last night. Um, it is freezing, like even in my shed with two heaters on and um, it's cold in here. I am not even going to attempt to epoxy in here today so what I'm going to show you now is going to be the end um it is decal day I chose a decal I'm going to show you I'm going to put it on show you the finished result um but the only thing I'll be doing off camera is adding another coat of epoxy and of course I will be putting the finished result on my Instagram but if I try to epoxy I know it's not going to cure properly because it is so cold in here and I've had so many people asking me about the foils I did want to get this video out as soon as possible so I hope you guys understand I am so sorry I hate doing it like this um but the main thing is you got to see how to use the foils so I'm using this super duper cute decal from creative fabrica I'll put the link in the description but it says stay humble hustle hard and this is the opal chrome vinyl from my website and then this is one from Hippie Crafter that I thought would go with the tumbler really well. Now, I created an offset on uh, my Cameo. I don't, I feel like I made the offset too skinny because I want to put this over this, but I don't know. We'll see. So let's try. it's super cute I do like it now um my offset was a little too small to put it like directly in the middle let me get my camera to focus here so I kind of just like put it off to the side a little bit and it is very subtle but it's really cute and I love it now this is the finished design of the tumbler I will not be doing anything else but y'all it is so so cold I like I said I'm not going to epoxy I think probably within the next two or three days I'll be able to come out here in epoxy once all of the snow goes away and like the wind is blowing so hard. It's like making my shed like creak and crack. It's it's wild out there y'all. So I'm going to leave the tumbler at that for you guys. I'm so sorry. Once I have epoxy over it I will be putting the finished result on my Instagram. Before I go like always I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is when thinking about life remember this. No amount of guilt can change the past and no amount of anxiety can change the future. And that unfortunately has an unknown author. That is all I have for you guys today. I'm going to go inside and put on some fuzzy sweatpants and I'm going to make a cup of like hot cocoa with the little mini marshmallows in there. Oh my gosh, yes. Anybody else who was in the path of this storm, it was kind of rough. I really hope everybody is staying safe, staying warm. And if anybody has any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!